All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Tuesday, March 5th slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I went 0 and 1 on the game picks. I gave out the Nets minus eight and a half against the Grizzlies. This Nets team seemingly impossible to figure out. They just got their butts handed to them by the Grizzlies. They lo- they lost at home by six points. New head coach Kevin Ollie, he has his work cut out for him. Yeah, and I had a one no day uh, barely. I gave out the over 241 and a half points between the Jazz and the Wizards. Everybody was worried. All the players were out. Lori Markkinen's out. Blah blah blah. I mean, the over hit. They scored 160 points in the first half. And then they tried everything in their power to go with the under, but uh, uh, we got the 242-point number we needed, so we went 1-0 on the day. Trey, let's go to those props. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, and I'm actually 1-0 now. Uh, my player prop just hit as we were recording. Uh, I gave out Kobe White to go over 21.5 points versus the Kings, and the game's not even over yet, and he already has a 30-burger. So shout-out Kobe White for doing what he does best against the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, and I gave out uh, Laurie Marketing over his total points. He did not play. In the comment section, though, I said I was probably going to take Keontae George to go over his total points at work. Uh, he played five minutes. I think he must have got hurt or something because he didn't see the floor after that. So if anybody, literally one person, took the play from the comment section and lost a bet on it, tell me in the comment section. I will happily take a loss. That's how this works. Uh, I would have took a win if he hit his over. But uh, since he didn't, I'll take a loss if anybody took it. Trey, let's go to the group play. Clean sweep here. Uh, I had the Bucks minus two and a half. You had the under in that Clippers and Bucks game. Both hit. Bucks made a comeback in the fourth quarter uh, for my one and zero, and then your under was basically perfect the entire way through. So good play there. Two and zero as a team. Let's go to the group play for tomorrow. I don't control the uh, TV schedule, so we're going to be breaking down the Denver Nuggets, I guess, for the rest of the season. The Suns going on the road to face off against the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets are a huge favorite, minus eight and a half, over under two thirty three. Uh, 223 and a half. I'll have you start. I'm going to make sure nobody's out for the Suns whenever you talk. Yeah, this is going to be an entertaining game to watch. It looks like Devin Booker is ruled out. Okay. Uh, it looks like he's ruled out for at least a week, week and a half. So uh, we'll see how that impacts them. Bradley Beal, he just got back from injury uh, and he scored 31 points in their last game. So it looks like he has not missing a beat. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if the Suns throw him out here uh, in this game. Maybe they're going to give him a rest day. Who knows? But uh, the one team that we don't have questions on is this Nuggets team. Give me the Nuggets here, minus eight and a half. It's kind of like uh, what we always talk about with the Celtics. Anytime we can get the Celtics at home, doesn't matter. Just hammer them on the spread. The Nuggets, they're absolutely dominant at home, 24 and five at home this year. Whenever we look at this matchup historically, these two teams, they've only played once this year, and the game was at Phoenix and the Nuggets. They, they still won that game by eight points. This game being at Denver, I expect them to get a double-digit win here. Kevin Durant can only do so much. And the Nuggets, they have a lot of length that they can throw at him. So uh, I'm going to be going with the Nuggets here, minus eight and a half. Well, I was going to take the Suns plus eight and a half, but then you had to bring up Boston. And uh, I said I was not ever going to fade Boston to get at home. So I guess I'll take the Nuggets with you, minus eight and a half. Uh, Devin Booker being out is a big deal for the Suns. Bradley Beal, I'm not sold on him too much. I know he's a great player, but we haven't seen him score the 30 points like he did uh, with the Wizards a couple seasons ago. So I don't know if KD and Bradley Beal can get the job done on the road here. So give me the Nuggets as well. Uh, with Trey, minus eight and a half to play. Trey, let's go to our place for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be talking about this San Antonio Spurs going up against Houston Rockets game. And this is going to be an entertaining game to watch, even if both teams, they've had unsuccessful seasons so far. The Spurs, they come in this game with a 13 and 48 record. They're also 30 and 31 ATS in San Antonio. They are 6 and 27 on the road. And the Rockets, they enter this game with a 26 and 34 record. They're also 31 28 and one ATS in Houston. They're an impressive 20 and 10 at home this year. And these two teams, they've already played twice this year and the home team won and covered both games. And I have to expect that to continue guys. Give me the Rockets here, minus seven and a half in this game. I do not think that the Spurs are going to even reach triple digits in this game. Wimby, he is questionable to play. And this line kind of makes me suggest that he's not going to play. And even if he does play, I just don't think that this Spurs team has enough to compete with this elite Rockets defense. The Rockets, they have one of the best defenses in the NBA, especially whenever they play at home. And whenever we factor in that their offense isn't that bad either, they get up the ninth most shots per game. And with Fred Van Fleet and all the young bucks around him, if the Rockets can make those shots here early in this home game, I feel like their offense is going to explode against this brutal Spurs defense. So look for the Spurs to turn over the ball like they always do, especially going up against this feisty Rockets team. And that's going to be the catalyst to us covering this game. So give me the home team to dominate here. I'll be taking the Rockets minus 7.5 against the Spurs. Yeah, Trey, I like the play there for you. Uh, for my play today, 
I'm going to be looking at the New Orleans Pelicans going on the road to face off against the Toronto Raptors. The Pellies here are their big road favorite, minus seven and a half. I'm going to back them as the play. No Scotty, uh, Scotty Barnes for the Raptors in the first and the first game without him. They did win by five points against the Hornets, but this team is definitely not the same without their best player. He's going to be out for an extended period of time with that broken hand. They're also going to be missing Bruce Brown, who's dealing with a knee injury. And I just just don't see it. They're too shorthanded right now to deal with this really good Pelicans team. I was looking at the injury report before we came on here. The Pellies, they have nobody listed. So it looks like we're going to get all the superstars on the floor for this road test. The Pelicans have been playing a little bit better over the last three games, picking up two wins out of those three games, beating the Pacers one of those two times, and then a big win against the New York Knicks at the Knicks. The Pellies have also been very good against the Raptors over the last four meetings, beating them outright in three of them and covering the spread in three of the four. In the last matchup on February 5th, the Pelicans beat the Raptors by 38 points. I don't think they're going to beat them by that many in this game, but the Pelicans have way more scores on the floor, and they play the better defense on the season. Give me the Pellies to take care of business on the road. Minus seven and a half as the play. Trey, let's go to the props. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be talking about Paulo Bancaro to go over 20 and a half points going up against the Hornets. I really love this over for Bancaro in this game because I expect <laughs> him to score on the points here throughout this one because we also have a lot of great trends working in our favor because this game is sort of a homecoming game for Bancaro going back to the Carolinas where he spent time at Duke. And so far in his career, he has dominated in those games against the Hornets because in his four career games versus Charlotte Bancaro, he's averaging 24.3 points per game, which is over this number. And whenever we factor in that this is a road game for him, it actually makes me love this play even more because in Paulo's 31 road games this year, he's averaging 23.7 points per game, which is higher than his home splits. And I expect Ben Carey to easily just be able to reach 20 plus points here in this game. This number is laughably low. He has come in this game with some negative momentum, only averaging 18.3 points over his last five. But Ben Caro, he's going to get barbecue chicken defensive coverage throughout this game. It's going to be beautiful to watch. So give me Paula Ben Caro to go over 20 and a half points versus the Hornets. I like it, Trey. For my player prop today, I'm going to the one and only CJ McCollum to go over his total three point shots made against the Raptors. The Golden Goose, I try to limit him to one time per week here in the NBA. I want to give out. Every I want to give him out every single time, but it gets old seeing him. I understand that. Uh, the last time I took CJ McCollum was against the Indiana Pacers. He did not disappoint. He put up eight three-point shots. He made five of those eight, cashing the over for us in the third quarter. I expect more of the same in this game going up against the Raptors, who have not been very good defensively and who are not very good at guarding the perimeter. The volume of shots McCollum gets up every single game from the outside is the reason I love him, and there's a reason I call him the Golden Goose. He's attempted at least seven-plus three-point attempts in every single game over the last month-plus of basketball. I'm not counting that heat game where he got injured. So if we take that game out, he shot an average of 8.9 three-point attempts per game over the last month. He's making 3.4 of those 8.9. And the last time that he played against the Raptors in an absolute blowout, he scored 20 points. He shot 10 threes in the game. He made six of those 10. He's one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA right now. So I'm going to continue to take him. Give me CJ McCollum over his total threes as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with the Rockets here, minus seven and a half going up against the Spurs. They're the better team. They're playing at home. Their defense is going to show out here. And I'm also going with Paula Bencaro, over 20 and a half points versus the Hornets. He loves playing against Charlotte, and uh, he's in the, entering this game with some negative momentum, but I'm enjoying that low number here. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Pellies here on the road, minus seven and a half. No Scotty Barnes for the Raptors, no Bruce Brown. I think the Pelicans roll on the road there. And then C.J. McCollum, over 3.5 made threes against the Raptors, had six last time. He shot eight plus threes and God knows how many games in a row. So I love the volume. I love C.J. McCollum, the Golden Goose, to go over his three-point shots there. Guys, that's going to do it for the NBA Plays and Props for Tuesday, March 5th slated games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody to any game they want. NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. So obviously the intro is not going to have plays for today, but these are our plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus two and a half, the Heat minus five, Quinnipiac minus four and a half, and Wisconsin minus ten and a half. Those are Trey's and myself's plays. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called, but – you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday, every single week. 
whichever team has the most wins, so four to three, six to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're gonna do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're gonna get our I don't know how we're gonna get our cheddar, but uh you guys are just gonna have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to youtube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You can click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself two bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 